How to recover and get back lost data quickly and effectively. How do you do it? And in a way that even beginners can do it. Using the Ease Us Data Recovery Wizard software, I'll show you the free and paid version today and how they differ from each other. No special knowledge is required for the recovery procedure and you can usually recover deleted or lost files fairly quickly, provided there's no mechanical or physical defect present on the storage device. And yes, we can extract data not only from hard drives and SSDs, but also from SD cards, USB flash drives and the like. However, to be as transparent as one can possibly be, I'd like to point out that this video is sponsored by ESUS, which will assist me with future projects. Of course, there are also competing solutions out there, some of which are free, some are paid. The link to the software I'll be using today can be found in the video description. Let's get started. I've prepared an empty 500GB hard drive that will act as our test object today. There's currently no data on it. I'm now going to drag over a total of 5 files to the HDD, 3 MP4 files, a docx document and a regular text file. I'm also going to transfer a single MP4 file that exceeds 2GB in size. So let's pretend we are super careless and delete some very important personal data. Unfortunately, we also happen to empty our recycle bin. Now that the hard drive is empty, what now? How do we get the data back? Actually, the ESUS data recovery wizard would be one of many good options out there. In my experience, it does a good job and makes it fairly easy, especially for beginners, thanks to its simple and straightforward user interface. If you only need to recover a few small files, such as images and text documents, you don't necessarily have to spend any money on the software. Up to 2 gigabytes can be recovered with the free version. The paid pro version, on the other hand, can of course recover unlimited amounts of data and also offers even more extensive support along with special features. So let's first download the data recovery wizard. Before installing, you should of course pay close attention to what drive exactly you end up installing the application onto. If our drive C were affected by data loss, under no circumstances should any further writing or data transfers take place on that specific drive. Otherwise, there is a high risk of overriding the deleted files. Now since drive E is the one being affected in my case, I can safely install to drive C. After a short while, the installation should be completed and the tool will automatically launch. The first time using it, we'll get a short introductory tour on how to use it. We then go ahead and select the affected drive from the list. This can either be an internal or external drive, like mine today for instance. Once the scan started, we'll be given a few more tips on how to use it all. Usually, the first few seconds are more than enough for our deleted files to reappear. Over time, the software will dig up even more and more data. However, since we already found what we were looking for, I'm stopping the scan early. After that, the files are being organized, so we can start to actually recover them right away. I find the preview feature particularly helpful for quickly checking what kind of files we're dealing with exactly. The free version does come with a few limitations, though nonetheless still very helpful. Now we go ahead and select the desired files and begin with the data recovery. All we need to do now is to choose a location on where to store these files. Once again, never ever save to the affected drive. It's always a good practice to save to a different drive. Unfortunately, I seem to have already exceeded my limit of 807 megabytes. So that claim of up to two gigabytes clearly shouldn't be taken literally, a bummer. For documents, of course, that's not a problem at all. In my case, to move on, I now need a license key to unlock the Pro version. Once the license key has been entered, the recovery will continue automatically. The result is satisfactory. The deleted files were 100% successfully recovered and can also be opened. Yet I also deleted another folder containing one more video file. We can, needless to say, go back 
and recover more. That works really well. But if the data recovery is more complex than my fictitious case, it's a good idea to make use of the data recovery wizard's practical features to change the view and organize by file type. We can also set useful filters. In emergencies, these are some very helpful features. Just a quick side note, we could of course specify for the software to scan through the recycle bin or very specific folders for a more targeted scan to potentially save some time. However, I always prefer scanning the entire drive. SD cards or data from NAS systems can also be recovered here without having to actually physically remove any hard drives or SSDs. RAID data could in theory also be recovered. And of course a classic, a Windows PC that no longer boots up for whatever reason but contains important data. This would allow the necessary data to be extracted even if the Windows OS were totally wrecked. If I were to move on to an extreme case of an accident, namely formatting a drive with important data on it, things would become considerably more tedious. In such a case, you will have to rely on a bit of luck as well, as formatting does differ from hard drive or SSD to SSD and even depends on the operating system, meaning not 100% of the data can be recovered at all times. This becomes clear to me pretty quickly within the first few seconds of my attempt. After giving the scan some time, it was able to locate a ton of things, but it's a mess. The file names were indeed lost. So some of the data had to be reconstructed by the data recovery wizard. At least, I was able to dig out my four video files, albeit nameless. After rescuing these videos, all of them played back just fine. That's a relief. And even after a while, I was finally able to locate my docx document. I used the filters mentioned earlier for this. The document opens up without any issues. Only the txt file appears to be gone for good. It seems to have disappeared. All in all, a fairly successful recovery nonetheless. Finally, we are going to simulate the deletion of an entire partition. The data recovery wizard detects set partition as soon as the software launches. In fact, the tool makes it fairly easy to recover the entire partition, including partition and file names. With just a few clicks, the contents of the partition are 100% restored. The ESAS data recovery wizard has masterfully accomplished its task. Still, I would like to strongly advise everyone to please create backups of your important data. The best thing is to avoid having to recover data in the first place. Hindsight is always 2020. Trust me, I was there too a few years ago. As I said, I'll put the link to the software into the video description. I hope that very few of you will ever need to recover data, but if you do, I wish you the very best of luck and success. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave me a like or alternatively a dislike. With that in mind, thank you all for watching and until the next one.